Tommy G, once again, welcome to another episode of Coffee and Cannabis. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and share. You know, I'm bringing stories and, you know, other scenarios concerning life and our obstacles and stuff I've been through personally, especially through prison life and all that other negativity, which I turned into a positive. I did have some funny situations in there, bro. Some some real ill situations, you know, especially with the police, bro. I never like got into with no niggas in there. I was I wasn't on that. For real. When I turned like 19, bro, I started to realize, you know what I'm saying, our power. I started realizing that we are more educated. I didn't know what it was. But something was letting me know that our people, even though we're going through so much turmoil and so much negativity concerning society and the world is against us y'all the world is against the red people of the united states of america and between i'm gonna say between canada and the west indies and you know, south america we're all the chosen people bro and we got erased out of history another story has to be told because the story we received null and void absolutely null and void and that's what hurts me the most concerning you know our people in our situation i'm a man of god and i read deuteronomy 28 that's us i highly recommend those who are searching to see who you are read the bible and the books that are associated with the Bible. That's y'all. That's us. We have a responsibility. We have a home to go to. And it's for us to get ourselves right before we enter into the kingdom of the Father. You know, with our gifts. You know, with the gift that, that he has waiting. Remember, Christ said the same gift I'm receiving, y'all gonna receive. He never said he was God. If he was God, he didn't need to go on the hill and pray. He didn't need to fast for 40 days and 40 nights. He came here to show us what we can do, not to show off and show us what he can do. That's what y'all need to understand. Period. It's the reason I don't go to church, because there's no healing. There's no there's no raising of the dead. And that's, the, and that's what Christ told and instructed the disciples. To you know, feed the people, raise the dead, heal the sick. Make the lame whole. Remember all that? That's what Christ instructed. None of that has happened in the United States. So I'm not going to any of them churches. Or them buildings. Because the church is the people. Period. 
This is something I had to give y'all concerning the Father. I just want to say thank you, Father, for this new day. Pray this day be a blessed day for me and all my people, family, friends, and entire nation of Israel. Shalom. In Christ's name, shalom. Okay. Hmm. I told y'all I did a surmountable amount of time in prison. And uh, to be honest, bro, all of it wasn't bad at times. Sometimes we had to fight. Sometimes we really had to fight uh, them people just to uh, get a point across, man. And it had to be no physical fight, nothing like that, man. It was a lot of times it was them being unfair. Entirely unfair. Like one incident I got, bro. One major incident I got is the uh during chow. Chow was when you eat lunchtime, dinner time, breakfast. But at this particular moment, it's dinner time. No, I'm lying. No, no, I'm right, I'm right. It's dinner time. Cause we having chicken, um, peach cobbler with mashed potatoes or gravy and I think mixed vegetables. You know, that was the meal, but it was barbecue chicken, quarter legs. I never forget it. I'm working in the kitchen. Now I'm in CCA at the time in Oklahoma, and Oklahoma has a contract with Aramark, which is the people who, um, you know, supply the food for the uh, inmates. You know, but CCA has to pay them to supply these services, which means they're a separate entity. See, even though we was in prison, we working for Aramark. And they had to follow the guidelines of the prison, but also the prison and the, and the employees of it have to respect the position of Aramark. When they hire us as employees, we're their employees. What they say go. Anyway, it was chicken day. A lot of the guys coming through the uh, the line. Like, bro, we they know for a fact. Someone worked in there with us, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm like, Bro, when food get done, it be at least four, four pans, bro. Four pans, four, five pans worth of food left. Big pans that hold 25 to 50 pieces of chicken. It's four of these things left, man. And we don't like the last unit to feed or something like, you know what I'm saying? So, we're like, okay, whoever the last one, we're going to get them a little extra, you know what I'm saying? Get this stuff distributed out. It's the last two. Why does one officer, I forget his name. He see, he see us getting down, me and my little dude, Drip. He said, hey, bro, hey, what you over there? You can't be doing that. You can't get an M.A. Hey, give him that tray back, and you uh, oh, you you give him uh, another tray, a regular tray like the other inmates. I'm like, man, all this extra chicken and stuff back here, I can't give him an extra piece, bro. You tripping, we're going to have to throw this stuff away anyway. At the end of the day, because if y'all put in the freezer and try to give it to us, we got a lawsuit for y'all um, trying to poison us. Oh, well, it's just what it is. What, okay, just, oh, oh really? It, 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 that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. So now, what we do know is they got to pay for their food. They got to pay for this state shit. And he he won officers amongst uh, many of them down there. They were, I don't know, bro. They was broke as hell. They got to pay for their food. He finna come through the line and get them a tray. Now, everybody, all the inmates out. Now, it's time for them to eat, the officers. This motherfucker, bro, comes through the line. Now, mind you, they got to pay for their food, so they got to sign something. Let them know, hey, I got a tray. And also, they have to mark everything they get extra. He he comes through the line. Like, yeah, you no, know, he, he was trying to, he was trying to, you know, I'm serving him. So now he remembered me, like, oh, yeah, ooh, ooh. Now let me get two of those. What? Excuse me? Let me get out. Yeah, let me get two or two pieces. Of, let me get two pieces of chicken, extra mashed potatoes. Okay. Sign this. And here, mark the two pieces. You know, mark what you get. I don't have to do that. You don't got to do what? I don't have to get the, 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 the uh, sign, anything. Oh, just give me the chicken. Like, no, that ain't finna happen, bro, bro. Give me a minute. I try. Straight to the motherfucking supervisor over air, Mark. Hey. The man said he want an extra piece of chicken. He ain't got to pay for it. He ain't mad potato and all that. He trying to get him to work. He ain't signed a piece of paper or nothing. Nigga. She like, what? Who? 
I'm in the office right here. That, that motherfucker like me. She come right out there and get next to me. Sir, um, did you sign the paper? Like, no, uh, you, you know you have to pay for this. You you done this before. You want an extra piece of chicken, you have to pay for it. You, you got and mind you, the stuff on this tray already. Sign that paper, bro. On the real. He didn't want to sign the paper. Nigga, pff, nigga, no gang life. I get gangsta on him. Give me this tray. Give me that regular tray, Drip. Well, then he, yeah, he gave me the regular tray. There you go, homie. And I gave him, I made, and, and Drip's so gangsta. He gave him the smallest piece of chicken. The small, he's like, hey, he's like, come on, man. Don't do me. Like, hold on, man. You just had us do that? And we got to throw away four, five extra pans of chicken? But you need an extra piece? Man, you got life twin instant. Not twisted. You get an extra letter. Twin instant. Facts. Nothing finna happen. Nothing is happening with you and that. So, he gets upset about that. I go to the back. Now this mug on some retaliation shit, bro, after all this. I get out. I got the kitchen, what? Um, we get off at like 3, 4 in the morning, bro. Literally, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting out the kitchen. So, next shift come in. He's supposed to be with his ass home. Mind you, this is dinner time. How the fuck you here, bro, before breakfast, bro? Oh, this is what made me beat, beat my little write-up he gave me on the real. Come out. Ooh, he, he searching me. You know, they got to search us on the way back to the unit or whatever. He searched me. Well, he didn't search me. All bad. He didn't search me. He was outside. I get done getting searching. We walk outside. He, hey, you, come here. N no. See, we had a thing down there. If um they tell one of us to stop, the whole group stop. You finna search everybody. We ain't moving until you done searching him. So call call your people. Get the gorillas ready with the suits and boots on everything. That's one thing I can say about them dudes down there and them dudes in Wisconsin. I don't give a fuck if you under five or six. Crip, blood, Mexican, Chinese, uh, no. When you done searching him, we all gonna walk. And that was the real thing about it. So, bro and them all waited for me when I got searched. This is my gonna try to say, um, yeah, we gotta take you, 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 you being held for investigation. Investigation for what? For what? For uh, disrespect? No, bro, you can't do that. Ain't no sergeant, captain, none of that who came and talked to me about no incident. Is this over some chicken? He trying to cuff me. I'm refusing to cuff. You ain't cuffing me, bro. You better call the captain right now. As soon as you, because they can't touch you, bro, without permission. Like, they got a call. He tried to grab me, bro. Nigga, when I did some niggas, the juice, nigga, I'm talking about nigga. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Watch out. Don't tell. I could have hit him, bro. I could have knocked him out. You get one free punch. Because they not, they're not allowed to touch you. Captain them, they come through and shit. My guys, they, hey, nigga, whoop, whoop. Hey, hey, y'all know. Hold on, homie. You don't even do none of that. Guys that come out, what's it? What you okay? What's going on? Well, you know, he was a few. Now I'm refusing to search. We did the searches on camera. Oh, he was refusing to search. Man, I ain't, the motherfucker, I ain't refusing no motherfucking search, homie. We got searched on the way out. And that's what the captain came like. Um, yeah, did they get? Why is he being searched right here? You, when he refused to be searched on the inside, it's like, no, I don't know. What you mean you don't know? You supposed to know. How am I out here without getting searched, bro? On everything now, bro. I, my attitude get mean, bro. I said, "My mock your bitch ass out, bro." Right now, on the red captain, like you can't threaten the man. He just threatened me, man. Send me to the hole. I'm trying to go home. I got like seven months left, and he threatened my motherfucking freedom, man, because of a piece of chicken that he refused. On everything, we still allowed smoking the joint. So one of them, um, the Aramark people come out. She see the shit and hear the shit. Then go back and get the supervisor. Good thing she on my side. Like, whoa. You're trying to take Tommy to the hole. What? No, what is this about? Captain take her to the side. She get to talking. Promise you, bro. This, they, they fair at times. The captain, he was cool. Moody. Like, hey. You're not finna do that. Hey, bub. He called us bub. Hey, bub. Go back to you know, go back to the unit. Ooh, you've been working all day. We're going to resolve this. Bet. Go back to the unit. This mob, bro, he is still there. I go to sleep. It's three, it's three in the morning. I get up. Got to go back to work around 11. How is this mob still there, bro? He trying to wait on the shift where he can get me. This is the 
type of shit they do, bro. But he still couldn't get me. On my way to work, hey, you, come here. Bro, guess what? Why he doing that? The captain's still there. Sees him do it. Damn. Three-day suspension. Harassing the inmate. No pay. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them is fair. That's why I say can't blame white people. I ain't doing that. And if I did, I apologize sincerely. I really do. Because all white people are not the same, my nigga. They are not. We're, you know, people are people. There's evil people. There's black, blue, green, yellow, brown. And that shit is around the board. So, I want to say thank you, Captain Moody, for being real. Even though you white, you my nigga. Period. Because you kept it real. And um, I had to bring y'all this story because people need to know when you're in there, they just can't. They just can't do you and treat you any type of way. There are certain rules, regulations, laws, and policies they also have to follow. In retrospect, to respecting us as men and not just looking at us as prisoners and inmates. Because everybody ain't guilty. And everybody crime wasn't worth being behind no gates or no bars. That's just the way the system was set up. Period. Well, I must get up out of here. I'll let y'all know it's love first peace later my brother joining me right now you know, I'm finna get ready you know what I'm saying post another video but I had to bring that scenario situation I'll let y'all know that hey all ain't what it seems quit watching movies thinking that's how they supposed to treat us and no they don't they don't supposed to treat us like that there's some prisons that may go in on individuals do that and it's allowed to happen like the situation in Alabama it's sad about the inmate in Alabama I gotta get the full story and I can bring it to you but I heard about what how the officers and huh, staff was treating this man to the point of death once again it's your boy Tommy G Coffee and Cannabis make sure you like and subscribe to the channel I'm gonna bring you some more news more stories later on through the day. Just give me a minute. Like I said, I'm getting my life situated. I'm trying to figure things out. But there's always love. And hopefully peace will follow with that. Then we can live good later. God bless. And we out. Coffee and Cannabis. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.